Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Moz D33 here, AKA Crystal with a C, back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, you just happen to click on a welcome, welcome, welcome. I try to put out one or two videos a week. I do sit downs, reviews, reactions, vlogs. So if any of that interests you, make sure you check out the prior videos on my channel. And if you see anything you like before you leave, make sure you subscribe. So you guys, you'll probably see in the prior clip me doing an unboxing. So uh, I unboxed my Apple Watch, my new Apple Watch Series 7, uh, probably two to three weeks ago. And I just wanted to have that little clip because I have been using the watch for the past few weeks. So I wanted to give my first impressions in this video and just kind of talk about what life has been like with the addition of the Apple Watch 7 into my routine. Um, as a new Apple Watch user, I've never before owned an Apple Watch, um, but I have wanted one for the past few years, but just kind of bit the bullet this year with the larger screen and went ahead and um, yeah, decided to go ahead and get one this year. So if I'm looking down, you guys, I'm looking at some of my notes. Really what I want to talk about um, as far as the background is, um, regarding why I decided to go for the Apple Watch Series 7 this year and then what I have liked about the watch and maybe a few things I haven't liked which is really minute though um, I would go ahead and say so we'll go ahead and get started you guys so um, I really wanted the Apple Watch like I said before for years but I was using an Android phone and when I did go to Apple and kind of talked to them about wanting to get an Apple Watch um, they told me that really you have to have an iPhone and at the time I was not ready to switch back to an iPhone so yeah that that kind of died in the water um, I have owned a semi smart watch before it was a watch that I purchased off of Amazon and it was like a Garmin and I purchased the Garmin it was like $161 which was a lot of money for me back in the day but um, yeah and I mean it's still quite a bit of money still for a watch um, but it was a uh, GPS tracking watch and it really helped me out a lot when I would do long distance running around my neighborhood um, years ago. So um, that would be very helpful for me at the time. That watch recently stopped working within the past few years, but I had it for quite a while, used it for mostly when I would run, but also for some of my walks and other workouts. And um, it just, again, tracks your route and, um, you know, it would be easier that way as opposed to getting in my car and kind of trying to track out like three or four different miles um, or different routes that way and wasting gas. So I could just kind of run a particular route. And I know, you know, every time I run this route, it's four miles, three miles, seven, eight miles, etc. So um, that's kind of my, a little bit of my history. But um, when I decided to go for the Apple Watch, um, I really wanted it to track workouts. I've really been trying to get back into fitness. Um, I do work out every week. However, it just, the number of days per week varies, just kind of depending on how I feel. So um, I try to do at least a good two to three times a week, but I'm really, I was doing six times a week, but it's just, again, work has been very busy. Both my full and my part-time job is picking up again, um, or both of those are picking up again. So um, yeah, it's just been a bit difficult to find the motivation to try to get some type of workout in most of the week. So that was the main purpose of me getting the Apple Watch and um, wanting to try out the Apple Fitness Plus because you do get three months free with the purchase of a new Apple Watch. So that was something I was really wanting to try out after um, Apple Fitness Plus did come out last year with the introduction of the Series 6. So um, that was the main motivation for wanting to get the Apple Watch Series 7 was the working out and the tracking of fitness. Um, and um, essentially the type of watch that I purchased, which you'll see it in the, um, you know, when I do the unboxing, but I just want to specifically give you the type of watch that I did purchase. I did purchase, um, and here it is right here, I am wearing it. Um, and it's it's not on the, the main screen, and I'll explain that in, in a few minutes. But um, I did purchase the Apple Watch Series 7. This is the stainless steel gold casing, and it is the 45 millimeter, which is the largest size. I did get two um, loops with it. The one that I'm wearing is actually my favorite one. And this is the one that I was really wanting to get with the Apple Watch. However, it just didn't work out that way as far as um, purchasing it with this band directly. But this is the leather loop and it is in the color dark cherry, which is like a dark purple. This is my favorite um, color. Purple is my favorite color. I love all renditions of purple, but I think I am more partial toward a dark purple. So I really love this particular color, if you guys can see it. And I'll also insert some clips and pictures as well. Um, as far as this loop is concerned. So I purchased this leather loop and then I also purchased this sport band here and this is in the, um, I think it's a sport loop uh, is what it's called, but this is in the new color Starlight. And this is a small medium size one. 
I do have the larger one also tucked away, but yeah, this is the small medium. And again, it's in the color Starlight, which is kind of like a beige. So I really do like this one. This is what I use primarily um, throughout the week because that's when I'll do my workouts. And this one is like the silicone one. So it's fine to sweat on this one and everything. And then this one right here, I'll typically use on the days that I'm not working out or on the, week, um, on the weekends or even in the evenings if I'm going out somewhere and I don't wanna wear like the sport loop, like if it doesn't go with um, the aesthetic of the outfit that I'm wearing, like if it's not a lighter color outfit, um, I would not wear this. I would typically wear this one because it's more universal. So um, yeah, and I just think it looks really nice with the gold casing as well. So again, I'll be inserting some clips and pictures. So um, with the stainless steel, you do have the option of doing the cellular. I have not done that yet. I'm still just kind of working with the watch and seeing if that's something I may want to add on in the future. It would be an addition of like $10 a month um, with my cell phone plan. So that's not too bad, but you know, when you start adding in, I wanna make sure that I'm getting you know my full money's worth. So we're just gonna hold off on that for a while, but that is an option with the stainless steel model. So I just wanna talk about now, I'm going into the things that I really, really like about this watch since using it the past few weeks. And again, if we're looking down, we're looking at my notes. First thing, I really love the Apple Fitness Plus. That's primarily why I purchased the watch again, was for the Fitness Plus and to be able to have almost like a gym like experience at the home um you know so uh that has been very very helpful been very convenient i've gotten into pilates recently um as well as been doing some hit workouts on the fitness plus also um i definitely do treadmill every week like I, I run on the treadmill and do intervals every week so that was something i was doing since april of this year but um they do have the treadmill workout so i did try one of those i tried a few of those last week actually and those you know burned a lot of calories so those were really good as well um and yeah so I, i've really been loving fitness plus i would definitely consider purchasing it beyond the three months that they give you for free so yeah that has been one of the things i've really loved about the watch also i love you know aesthetically as far as the watch is concerned i love the large face which again if this is the 45 millimeter uh because like i've mentioned before you guys i do have visual deficits um the larger one was always going to be the one that i was going to purchase uh, just because too, it's just easier with my finger. I do have, you know, longer, bigger hands as well, if you guys can see. So the larger face was always going to be the one that I, I went for just because I found it to be a bit easier to touch the buttons and to not, um, you know, to, to access everything just has been easier with the larger face. Uh, so yeah, I really love the 45 millimeter option that was offered this year. Also, um, I love the mindfulness exercises, kind of going back into the Fitness Plus, but I think you can access the mindfulness exercises outside of the Fitness Plus, but I could be mistaken on that. But um, typically, yeah, I'll have access to do like a mindfulness exercise, which essentially it could just be breathing. It could be like a one minute breathing exercise or a one minute reflection. So those are really good. I'll do those at work a lot of times. Like I'll go into the restroom and then just kind of do a one minute like breathing exercise just to, you know, kind of alleviate some of the stressors that go on throughout the day. So that has been really good and helpful as well. And even the one minute reflection and really trying to get back into like meditation and mindfulness like that has just been really good um, for my mental health. So that's another thing I've really loved. Uh, the camera functions that I just learned you can access from the watch. So this is why my watch is not actually on the face because I'm actually using it as like a remote for my cell phone that I'm recording on. So, you know, I can go ahead and um, access the phone through the watch and use it as a remote to control the functions of, you know, the, the use my watch to control the functions of my phone as it relates to the camera app. So I could do selfies, I can, um, you know, start and stop my video recordings all through the use of the watch. So that is really helpful as well as I'm looking to in the future, you know, approve upon my videos, even as I'm filming from my cell phone. So that's another thing I've really loved. The activity rings, again, as it, going back to fitness, are very, very helpful. Even when I don't do a traditional workout throughout the day, just knowing how many calories I've burned, um, you know, having the reminder to stand up throughout various times of the day. And then also, um, you know, trying to at least get like a walking exercise in, if, even if I don't do a more rigorous traditional exercise so I can close those rings. So the rings are very helpful um, and I really like uh, the inclusion of those with the watch. Another thing, um, I really love the different faces. Um, 
you'll kind of see those. I'll insert some video of the different faces that I currently have on my watch now. Um, I really like the one, um, I think it's the Info Modular. I think that's a newer one, but it, it includes so much information like the weather, the time, uh, the activity rings. I also have music, the percentage of, um, but the battery percentage of the watch, as well as um, like the mindfulness. I have all that on one screen, which is super cool. I think that um, watch face is new with the Series 7. So it includes all of those different ones that you can have all on one face. So that one is really cool. Also have the traditional um, one that comes with the Series 7. I'm not certain what the name of that one is, but again, I'll insert video of the different watch faces that I currently have now that are my favorites. Uh, so I think that's a very cool element being able to customize your Apple Watch. That has been really nice, um, again, as it relates to having this watch the past few weeks. Um, another thing are the um, notifications and the calls. Um, I've taken phone calls off of my watch, which has been really cool as well. Um, and sometimes I can just go ahead and transfer calls from my cell phone onto my watch. I've done that as well. Um, I get all the notifications, which is really cool as well. Just getting certain text messages and things on my phone. I can also, um, from my phone onto the watch is what I meant to say. And I can also respond back on the watch. I don't do that very often just because even with the full keyboard that they do include with the Series 7 on the bigger screen, it's still a bit small for my taste. I have responded to text messages on the watch, but again, it's still a bit small. It requires a bit more maneuvering than if I just pick up my phone and respond to a text that way. So, um, but that is another option that you do have. Um, I love listening to music from the watch, so I can just have my watch as well as my AirPods and I can go to the gym and, you know, it's, it's pretty seamless to be honest. Um, that's, that's been really helpful as well. Um, so really the watch has kind of replaced the use of my um, iPod touch as well that I usually will take to the gym. I'll just kind of take my watch, my phone, and yet yeah, my AirPods and that's sufficient for me. Um, the other thing is, you know, and if I had the LTE as far as, you know, if I paid for the plan, I would actually only just need my watch as well as um, my AirPods and I could just go to the gym. But for now, you know, taking the phone isn't really much more, so it's fine. But um, the other thing is I really love the fast charging. So whenever my phone or whenever my watch is, um, you know, nearing, you know, dead um, and it's very at a low charge or low percentage, I can essentially take it off, go into the shower, come back, and it's almost fully charged back to 100%. So that has been really cool as well. Like it charged really, really fast in my opinion. And then comfort, I do wear this to bed a lot of times. And um, it's just very comfortable, especially with this leather loop. This one's very, very comfortable to wear to bed, but the other one is also comfortable. But yeah, this one to me is the most comfortable, but it, it's not really bad at all wearing it to sleep. And this is from someone who doesn't wear jewelry to sleep. Um, so yeah, this has not been bad, you know, as far as doing some of the sleep tracking and the alarm. Yeah, this hasn't been bad to wear to bed at all. So those are all the things I would say that I really like and love about this watch using it the past few weeks. I only have a few things I don't love and I'll go ahead and get into those. So the first thing I don't love, I'm um, going back into the sleep tracking. Um, I don't know what I do with this information. So um, it tells you average like how many hours you slept, but um, it doesn't really do much more than that for me. And as well as um, I, I'll set an alarm as far as waking up because I know people talked about um, with setting an alarm with the Apple Watch, uh, it does like vibrate to try to wake you up. Y'all, that is just not enough for me. I need a loud noise. So, you know, I've set the alarm a few different times on the Apple Watch and I sleep right through it. So um, it just does not wake me up at all. So that has been an issue. So I don't use the alarm on the Apple Watch anymore. I, would, I will still do some of the sleep tracking. However, I don't find the information to be all that useful. But um, so that would be something, I think that's pretty common with what a lot of people will say as far as the sleep tracking and Apple and improving upon that. So that's one thing. And then the, the um, act, one of the um, activity rings as far as the standing, um, I set it for the almost lowest that it can go because I think the lowest is like six times in a 12 hour time period. I set it for six and then I raised it up to seven. But that tracker is kind of annoying to me because um, I will like be walking around and doing different things and then I sit down to get back to my work and then it 
it rings and says it's time to stand. I'm like, did you not just capture any of the standing I just did? So it just seems like it asked you to stand at very inconvenient times, in my opinion. And it's like, okay, I was just standing for five minutes and now I, had, I need to sit down and get back to work. And it's like, oh, you need to stand up. So a lot of times I'll just hit dismiss on it. And maybe I don't meet the ring as far as, you know, my ring, The I don't close that ring as far as the standing activity. Um, one is concerned because it seems like it doesn't record any of the other times during the hour that I do stand. So yeah, that one is very annoying at times. So um, I don't pay it much mind. Sometimes I'll just dismiss it. And sometimes, yeah, I don't close that activity ring for the day, but it is what it is. So that's pretty much it, you guys, as far as my first impressions of the Apple Watch Series 7, being a non-tech person. So if you have any specific questions, do let me know, you guys. I really hope this was helpful if you are thinking about the Apple Watch, even if it's not the Series 7, even if it's the SE, or even if you're going to wait and try to see um, about the Series 8. Um, I definitely love the inclusion of the um, Series 7 into my day-to-day -day routine, and it just kind of feels like it's one of those things for me where it feels like where have you been all my life like oh my gosh I see why people love the Apple watch and it's you know some people it's their favorite accessory that Apple makes and tech item over iPads over AirPods over everything I know a lot of people who are diehard Apple watch fans I can see it now so um yeah if you have any questions definitely comment below guys make sure you just do give this video a thumbs up also make sure you do share it with someone else who may be interested in the Apple watch series 7 um, and you know kind of want to know what some of the advantages of it are so definitely share this video with them also make sure you do subscribe to the channel we are almost at 500 subscribers at the making of this video so definitely guys keep subscribing that really helps my channel out a lot thank you to all the new subscribers welcome hope you stay a while invite your friends as well um, and again guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you in my very next video bye guys